Sri Guru Benamaha children, welcome back to our online teaching academy, Hey Kalaiva. Hope the video is already useful to you to learn whenever you need. So now we are going to see the new lesson. The topic is electric charge and electric current. We know already around us the matters which are around us all the things are made up of with matters. All the matters are made up of atoms, isn't it? The things which is surrounding us, all those is made up of matter. This matter is made up of an atom. Okay. And how this atom is made? No. So, atom is also made up of the particles called proton, electron and neutron. Okay, atom is made up made up made with the proton, electron, and neutron. But naturally, all these particles have a charges. Proton carries the positive charge. Whereas electron carries the negative charge. Here the neutron. We can say this is a neutral or no charge, chargeless. Okay, so we can call it as a neutral or chargeless. So by naturally, all these particles of an atom have a positive charge, negative charge, and neutral. Okay, how these atoms made? No. So if there is an atom inside the nucleus. Okay, in atom there is a nucleus particle. Inside the nucleus, proton P represent proton and N represent is the neutron. So atom it consists of V of nucleus. So inside the nucleus there are particles of proton. So P represent proton and N represent neutron. So around this nucleus uh, there is an electron will revolve around the nucleus in the orbit so this is how the atoms is atoms are made with so all the things which is made with the matter the matter is made up of atoms and molecules how these atoms made up of proton electron and neutron so proton carries a positive charge electron carries a negative charge neutron carries the uh, carries the charges of might be neutral or chargeless so due to this an electric current okay this based on this an electric current consists of moving charges okay so based on this how the electric current is made no electric current is consist of moving charges so we seen about how atoms is made up of working okay. so atoms made up of proton electron neutron and based on this the electric current consists of charges so now we are going to see the topic is electric charges so which means what are the charges proton it carries positive charge electron it carries negative charge and neutron it carries the, it, it can be a neutral charge or chargeless so when the atom became okay electric charges no when the atom became neutral when the atom become a positive when the atom become a negative no depend based on this electron okay so in an atom when number of electron present as the number of proton present for example number of the number of electron 10 is equal to the number of proton also 10 means then the atom themselves become as a neutral okay so when number of proton and number of uh, electron both are become equal means what will happen to the atom no atom themselves become as a neutral form 
when it will become a positive charge completely positive charge no when the electrons electron removed from atom from an atom when any even one or two electron removed from the atom what will happen to that atom no it will become a positively charged or positive ion for example uh, uh, if you take a sodium it is 11 no so last one 11 tenth one no the 11 next to 10 11th one it is free no so when you remove that electron what will happen that atom will become a positive ion for example nucleus proton and neutron so around that electron is moving freely so electrons are moving freely when you remove this one electron so what will happen by removal of one electron what will happen to this this atom will become a positive ion when the electron become negative ion electron by adding adding of electron So adding of electron, addition of electron, what will happen to the atom? No, it will become a negatively charged. So, or it will get a negative ion. This is how the atom became themselves neutral or became positively charged or negatively charged. So here the number of electron has removed. So it, it has become the positive when number of electron is added. So what will happen? It will become as a negative ion. So based on the electron addition, addition of electron or removal of electron are equal. So it will become a, a maintain the charges of neutral or positive ion or negative ion. Now we have seen about how the atom become positive charge or negative charge and neutral. So how to measure the electric charge? So the electric charge can be measured by Coulomb. Okay, this Coulomb can be represented by the symbol of capital C. So as we know electric current is consisted of moving electric charges so in the atom which is moving electron alone is moving no so electron can represent by the symbol electron can represent by the symbol of small e so it has a numerical value constant numerical value of electron is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb so this is the value for one electron by knowing of this value of one electron, by integral multiplying, you can measure the n, n number of electric charges. So, so no Q equal to N E. Q which means it's a charge. Q means it's a charge. E is electron. By knowing the value of electron, by multi n is the any number it can be 5 or 6 or any number. So based on the number by multiplying the knowing of one electron you can find the what is the qu qu quantity of a charges with the help of this formula q equal to ne so based on the power 10 power minus 19 no when the power is be being 10 power minus 6 you can call it is the micro coulomb this is the symbol of mu c micro coulomb When you get the power, okay, while, while doing multiplication with the to finding of a charge, when the power is become 10 power minus 9 means can call it is the nano coulomb. Yeah, small n capital C. Nano coulomb. 10 power minus 12. So minus 6 or minus 9 or minus 12. So based on this power, you can call it as a micro coulomb or nano coulomb. 10 power 12 means it is the pico coulomb. This is how the charges can be, can be measured with the help of the coulomb. 
will see you on the next class children to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you